Pretty much the only amplified sound you've ever heard comes from one of these. It's called a point source loudspeaker. And this is a DML loudspeaker. It not only looks different, but the behavior of the sound waves that come from it are so different there's almost no comparison between the two. This animation shows the typical 90 degree pattern, how each wave correlates to the wave before and after it, and the symmetry of overlapping waves. When these wave fronts collide, unpleasant sounds result. Artifacts from the two waves arriving at the same or different times include cone filtering and hot and dead spots. When correlated sound waves reflect off untreated side walls and the back wall, bad sounding collisions multiply. Add reflections off the floor and ceiling, not shown here, and sound degrades further, especially speech intelligibility. As reflections bounce a second and third time, multiple different arrival times of the original sound multiply. Human brains strain to make sense of the original sound plus first reflections and basically give up trying with second, third, and higher order reflections. Here's a real-life example of that happening, contrasted with DML waves that don't create second and higher order reflections. To get an income from passengers, please proceed now to meet number 812. As you can hear, by utilizing newer DML technology, that avoids introducing second and higher order reflections inherent in old school point source loudspeakers, higher sound quality can be achieved. And that's the thing to remember. It's what DML doesn't do that makes it a better choice in acoustically untreated reflective spaces. Thanks for listening. To learn more, check out flatpanelaudio, one word, dot com.